Yes, I'm a Republican and I'm a Gamecock. And if there's anything that those two have taught me is you don't take anything for granted, okay? <laughs> so what I'll tell you, even though every poll we've seen has uh, Representative Haley, my good friend, leading this race, and pretty much all the Republican candidates leading this race is, don't be lazy. And I know I'm preaching to the choir here. Get on the phones, continue. All, all of y'all in here are activists, and y'all know 10 or 100 other people. I'm on some of y'all's email list. Keep emailing, keep spreading the word. That's what we've got to do to make sure our Congress, our uh, State House, and of course the constitutional officers remain in control of what we, the people, want to see for a conservative government here in South Carolina. You know, there's a lot of bickering that goes on over there. But you'd be surprised that actually the Republicans can rally together when we want to get things done. It's just sometimes the Democrats will keep us in the chamber till the wee hours of the night fighting some of these issues that Representative Bingham just mentioned to you. And you're scratching your head going, what is so wrong with showing a driver's license to go take a vote? I mean, if somebody's fighting it that hard, it really makes you wonder, you know, who's re who's, who are they representing? Um, I'll just end by saying this. I was proud of the DMV recently up here at the Ballantyne Irmo. Um, if y'all go out there to get your driver's license, they've got the pilot program. It's going to roll out, might roll out next week statewide. We've got new licenses now which mu with much more secure features. And I was not thinking about this at the time, but that goes back to the real ID debate that we had a couple years ago where the federal government was trying to tell us what we were going to have to do to protect our citizens. Well, we just showed here in South Carolina, we got it under control, okay? We can protect it, and we came out with one of the most secure photo ID cards. It's not just for driver's license, it's for identification cards. Last year, I believe the bill, we were gonna pick up the tab for the people arguing who can afford the new card. We said, we'll take that off the table, now we'll pay for it. Now what do you think? Well, they came up with another reason not to like it. But anyway, with all these items that are in place now, and with the verge of having Representative Haley become governor to lead our state, there's no reason why the next four years, or I would even say the next eight years, cannot be the conservative type government we've been wanting and needing in South Carolina. And the government that Joan Brady, uh, Kenny Bingham, myself, and Jim Harrison, uh, and then we've got Senator Corson. There are not many in Richland County. Y'all know that. We've got to make sure Joan comes back. Again, don't take that for granted. She's doing very well. I think she will win that race, but I don't want to be sitting at home thinking, why didn't we go tell four more people to get out there? We've got four. We could pick up Sherry Few and Anton Gunsey. Uh, that, that would be a welcome to have another R for Joan and Jim and I at the uh, uh, delegation to sit around and, and hopefully get some ideas moving forward for Richland County in a conservative bent. I'm going to be quiet now. I think I noticed our congressman walked in. Well, I don't know if we can defer some time or whatever works best for you guys. Thank y'all. Get out and vote on Tuesday and take your breaks.